in health news destigmatizing the use of hearing aids for children and teens. The local nonprofit HASA is helping to educate families and provide their patients access to the latest technology. Tracy Leung explains what this means for their young clients. Looks good. All right, let me. For eight year old Milana Delonzo, hearing aids have improved her quality of life. Her um, hearing loss was perceived to be a behavioral issue, and now that she has her hearing aid, she's excelling and she's doing very well in school. Right, listen for those beeps, push the button whenever you hear it, okay? HASA audiologist Cecilia Ward says advances in hearing aid technology is making the devices more appealing. It definitely destigmatizes hearing aids. Um, not only are they more fashionable and more interesting now, kids can pick different colors, they can add glitter, they can put stickers on them, but they can also have a piece of technology that their friends might not even have. The nonprofit HASA offers a wide range of services, including hearing tests, oral and deaf education, as well as support for their clients and families. Anything below 20 is considered hearing loss. Milana discovered she was hard of hearing last year. They helped me hear better than I used to when I didn't have hearing aids. Hassa identified Milana's hearing loss and guided her through the process of treatment, which includes stylish hearing aids with direct wireless streaming technology that can be connected to a tablet and controlled with an app. And it's not something that we've been exposed to before, so it's been great to have them to kind of ease our worries and kind of give us the tools and the knowledge that we need to help her and um, help her benefit for her future. With the improvements in hearing aids design and function, Hassa is hoping it will encourage more youth to approach these devices with excitement. If a kid doesn't want to wear their hearing aids, it can really impact not only their current access to education, but their future ability to access education as well. So anything that gets a teen or a kid to wear their hearing aids is something that audiologists are absolutely interested in. Reporting in Baltimore, Tracy Leong for WJZ.